The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development defines the employment rate as the employment-to-population ratio. This is a statistical ratio that measures the proportion of the country's working age population that is employed. This includes people that have stopped looking for work. The International Labor Organization states that a person is considered employed if they have worked at least one hour in gainful employment in the most recent week. Background The employment population ratio has not always been looked at for labor statistics and where specific areas are economically but after the recent recession it has been given more attention worldwide, especially by economists. The National Bureau of Economic Research states that the recession that began in 2007 ended in June 2009. During 2009 and 2010, however, many areas were still struggling economically which lies the reason the employment population ratio still has the eyes of Americans and people around the world. Key definitions To understand the use of the ratio, some key terms follow. Employed persons All those who do any work at all as paid employees work in their own business or profession or on their own farm or work 15 hours or more as unpaid workers in a family-operated enterprise, and all those who do not work but had jobs or businesses from which they were temporarily absent due to illness, bad weather, vacation, child care problems, labor dispute, maternity or paternity leave, or other family or personal obligations, whether or not they were paid by their employers for the time off and whether or not they were seeking other jobs. Unemployed persons, all those who have no employment during the reference week, are available for work, except for temporary illness, and have made specific efforts, such as contacting employers, to find employment sometime during the past four-week period. Participant rate This represents the proportion of the population that is in the labor force, not in the labor force. Included in this group are all persons in the civilian non-institutional population who are neither employed nor unemployed. Information is collected on their desire for an availability to take a job at the time of the CPS interview, job search activity in the prior year, and reason for not looking for work in past four-week period. Multiple job holders these are employed persons who have two or more jobs as a wage and salary worker, a self-employed and also held a wage and salary job, or work as an unpaid family worker and also hold a wage and salary job. Use The ratio is used to evaluate the ability of the economy to create jobs and therefore is used in conjunction with the unemployment rate for a general evaluation of the labor market stance. Having a high ratio means that an important proportion of the population in working age is employed, which in general will have positive effects on the GDP per capita. Nevertheless, the ratio does not give an indication of working conditions, number of hours worked per person, earnings or the size of the black market. Therefore, the analysis of the labor market must be done in conjunction with other statistics. This measure comes from dividing the civilian non-institutionalized population who are employed by the total non-institutionalized population and multiplying by 100, employment to population ratio in the world. The economies with low ratios are generally situated in the Middle East and North Africa. Employment to population ratios are typically higher for men than for women. Nevertheless, in the past decades, the ratios tended to fall for men and increase in the case of women, which made the differences between both to be reduced. Source